I have this wood owl cut out. I got it from the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to start by painting the entire thing using some wise owl ivory. Once I had full coverage, I'm then going to go in with some wise owl earth. And with my paintbrush, I'm just doing a dabbing motion and covering most of the owl, leaving its face without any brown. I'm going to set that aside. I found this basket at Dollar General. It was $3. And I had this burlap, it could be any burlap, mine just happened to have sunflower pattern on it. And I'm going to wrap the back side of the basket with the burlap. So you can still see the basket, but you have the back side covered in the burlap. I'm just going around in sections, starting with the top and the bottom, and I'm using my handheld stapler to hold it in place. Any extra material I'm cutting with my pinking shears. Now if you enjoyed this video we'd really appreciate if you pass it along that means a lot to us. I have these two leaf candle holders and when I saw them at the Dollar Tree for some reason I said that would look really cute on an owl's face. So here I am using some E6000 gluing down the candle holders to the owl. I did clamp it in place and you do want to set this to dry for at least 12 hours. On my basket I decided to add this little spray here. It was a piece of another spray that I had used. I get these from Hobby Lobby. You can get them at a good price. I'm going to glue some tumbling tower blocks to the bottom here. You get these from Dollar Tree as well. I think I glued three of them and then I'm going to set my owl in the bottom right corner of my basket. I'm using some hot glue to secure it in place. And you could add cute little tea lights. That's my favorite part to the owl's eyes. I have the word welcome home the welcome I spell in individual letters and the home I got from Walmart pre-spelt together like that. And I'm using the General Finishes Antique Walnut Gel Stain on all of the words. Once that is dry, I'm gluing a popsicle stick to the top of my basket here and then I'll glue the home right below it. I'm then going to take the word welcome and lay on the popsicle stick. I'm going to hold those letters down in place using some wood glue. I'm just brushing it onto the back of each of the letters and pushing it down onto my surface. And there we go. To finish it off, I did want to make the welcome home pop a little more, so I just dry brushed a little bit of the snow owl onto my words. And I thought this came out really cute. I hope you enjoyed this video. Paint products, tissue paper, transfers, and mesh stencils can all be found on our webpage at chocolateupfancy.com. And don't forget, you can check out other tutorials over on our webpage. Have a great day.